Hey guys, I'm back. Garden friends, welcome. I am um, gonna show you one tree today. This is, um, I guess, worth highlighting um, because there's really not any, hardly any information about it online. And I don't think there's any videos at all on YouTube about this tree. It is um, quite rare. There's um, a lot of confusion of what this tree really is. Let me tell you what it's actually called. We call it a, I call it a Razzlequat. I call it a Razzlequat. It's also called um, Coachella Ermolman. Um, this is considered or was being considered as one of the, uh, an, a possible hardy citrus tree that we could, you could grow out and possibly in, I don't know, some marginal zones. There was some trials in Savannah, uh, I think in Savannah, Georgia, where they were trying to plant some of these out. And figure out just how hardy they are. This tree has uh, been uh, easy to grow, but very hard to fruit. And um, I guess maybe I had just enough decent care with it this year that I actually got a good amount of fruit to set. This one actually right here is pretty big, um, but this is what they look like. It looks sort of they're kind of round, um, have like a light greenish limey color I guess to them or almost yellow I um, it's been so long that since this held the fruit I I um I can't even remember what the fruit um end up looking at it looks like it's going to end up being yellowish but so this is the tree here I've had it for <clears throat> a long time um and I just had it in this little pot here I think this is like a three or five gallon pot and I've cut all the, and I, I grafted it here, but I, <clears throat> graf, I cut all of the thorns. I if you could tell, there's so many thorns on these things. But they're saying that this is maybe a, uh, this is a desert lime, I think, um, mixed with, I don't know, they might, might have said it was mixed with a grapefruit. Um, so this is like an Irmo Citrus Glauca times Citrus Limon, which is, a, I think they're saying it may be lemon, but I don't think anybody really knows what this is. Uh, the uh, Other than maybe the, the desert lime mixed in with it. Um, they don't really know what else is, for you know, certainly what is the, the lineage of this tree. But it's, it's a curious uh, tree to have. Um, I don't think I really ever grafted it out. It probably might be worth me trying. <clears throat> but this is what the leaf arrangement looks like. They look like um, a lot, well, they're long slender leaves. And it looks just like, um, well, pretty close to desert lime. And uh, it doesn't, if you kind of happened upon this tree, you probably wouldn't have think, thought it would be a citrus tree until you, I guess, maybe crush some of the leaves and inspected it more or you were familiar with certain uh, rare varieties but here is one of the fruits here too um, I did have one that fell off and I can I kind of pre sliced it and we just here it is it's a tiny one that fell off but all these fruit are so precious that I wanted to um, go ahead and show you at least what the inside looks like very similar to uh, um, it looks similar to when you open up um, a finger lime a little bit, but this is what it looks like. It's got a great kind of lime scent to it, and it is pretty juicy. Well, actually, when you squeeze it, you can see the vesicles separating. This is most like, um, this is pretty much like how a finger lime comes out. When you smell it, it has a really good, really good uh, kind of lime scent. Let's try one. Well, I like it. Actually, it might taste a little better than um, it might taste a little better than a finger lime. It's more like, Well, I guess it's more, it is kind of like a finger lime, but more lemony. Um, but no seeds, at least in this fruit. 
I'm gonna inspect all these fruit and hopefully oh well, <laughs> I pulled this one off on accident so well I guess later on we're gonna have a uh, we'll have a look at the inside of this one too but all right guys so here is my razzle quat and I um, wanted to go ahead and document this because really there's not a lot of I don't really know anybody else is growing one I'm I sent some some um, I think I might have shared some wood and scions before but I don't know if they uh, the status is if those those um, scions ended up taken from my friends but kind of a rare tree they don't even I think a long time ago Oregon exotics <clears throat> and we're talking at least 15 20 years ago they used to sell this I don't before they went defunct but um now I don't it's just a really a collector's tree and it's hard to get I think um you'd have to search far hard, far and wide to find a tree like uh, a tree so at least here uh, I can document it and show you guys and share with you what it looks like while it's actually getting dark out here so it's only like six um no it's actually seven ten so sadly we're losing light a few seconds of light every day but all right guys i will talk to you soon and uh here's my razzlequat or coachella coachella or earl moment i can't even hardly say that all right guys take care